Next topic, a movie. A movie, uh, loosely tight, working title, Jacinda Mania. I've got no problems with a couple of lefty, woke uh, film producers making a movie called Jacinda Mania. Free world, isn't it? They've done pretty well. I think they've raised, they raised about $2 million from people who were happy to pay to make the movie in the expe- expectation, I guess, that it might make some money. Why then did they have to go cap in hand to the government, to the New Zealand Film Commission, and get $800,000 from you and me? Yes, the uh, Film Commission has tipped in $800,000 to what I understand is around a three and a half, maybe million dollar budget for a movie loosely titled Jacinda Mania. Now, it's not a biopic about the most wonderful and popular Prime Minister we've ever had in this country. It's more about um, social media and how people piled on here and, 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 I don't know, hate speech and stuff. It's clearly a political movie. It will clearly have a political bent. And I've got no problems with people making movies with political themes and bents to them but I do have a problem when I have to pay for it. So the organisation, the Film Commission, that decided to dole out, which of course is run by people appointed by the last Labour government. See where I'm going with this. Its chair was a guy called Alistair Carruthers, who's also the chairman of, guess what, Television New Zealand right now. He was the chairman at the time. I understand, and this may have been misreported, he was not involved in any way in the decision to give $800,000 to the people making the Jacinda Mania movie. And he did not have to recuse himself. As head of the Film Commission, it just never comes across his desk. But one naturally says um, he would have appointed the people whose desks did come across or had some influence, I don't know. But I'm saying there's nothing corrupt about that, except when we put it together in the bigger picture. And Alistair Carruthers, who... I've known since secondary school or before, Alistair Carruthers has close ties to the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, though she's got nothing to do with the movie. So she has got nothing to do with the making of the movie. He was at Jacinda Ardern's wedding and that's cool. And his partner, whose name doesn't need to come into this, is a very good friend of the Prime Minister's. And he's the head of Television New Zealand. And there's nothing wrong with that. And we don't accuse anyone of any corruption or anything, but it doesn't look good. And that's just the fact of it. And the truth is, in a country the size of New Zealand, people get appointed to jobs and there's only a limited, and I'm not disparaging anyone, only a limited talent pool. Of course, we're going to have people who know each other getting jobs. But in the current climate, I'm not sure that Alistair Carruthers is the best person to be the chair of Television New Zealand. And unfortunately, this movie, which I'm sure most of you, and I did a poll over the weekend, I did a Twitter poll about whether or not you were happy for $800,000 worth of your taxpayers' money to go towards making a movie about Jacinda Ardern, which is clearly a political movie. There's no doubt about that. Um, And what did you say? Let me just check. We got the finals through, I think, on this the other day. Oh, no, we did it on the platform. Can you get... Oh, no, I'll put it on... I'll get to the platform Twitter account. Um, and it says what was our what was the um, the result of our poll? And the poll asked the following questions: Are you happy paying tax to fund a movie about Jacinda Ardern to the tune of eight hundred thousand dollars? And I had four options for this poll: it was yes, no, should be more, pull the funding, and yes got four percent, no got fifty five percent, should be more money got two percent. And pull the funding got 39%. So I guess there's a pretty clear message there. And the problem is, as we unpick six years of woke, um, we're going to find little presents, little hand grenades or landmines left by the last government. And it's kind of subversion of agencies of state and public bodies. There, We're going to find little things like this uh, all over the place. So do you think the government should actually stand up and pull the funding on this? I think clearly there is enough private sector funding to get the project made. And because of its political nature, uh, I think we shouldn't be funding it. And there needs to be a review and a clean out. 
and to purge at places like the Film Commission, New Zealand On Air, Creative New Zealand. Um, they all need to have a very close look at them.